we are Anthony and Jitender from Marvel Customer Solutions Group, Satish Maulik and myself, Ramanath from the Development Engineering Group of Marvel. Today, Sonic bare metal hardware is expensive because of several reasons. It needs a large flash since the Sonic binary image footprint is large. For our platform, the image footprint is around one gigabyte. Further, we need a higher size DDR main memory because Sonic uses a large root file system. Also, we need a powerful host CPU since Sonic is not optimized for specific CPU platforms. All these results in an expensive bill of materials. Further, the larger image size causes performance issues like slower execution times, longer time for image upgrade, and in general, increased boot times. What we did during this hackathon was, without removing any of the Sonic features, we reduced the Sonic image footprint and the main memory usage. We'll see how in the next slide. For this hackathon, we used the Vistron 3200K SKU. The ASIC in this SKU is Marvel Terlink 7, and the Sonic version used is 2021-11. Let us see how we did the optimizations. For the hackathon, we looked at the root file system, the kernel, and the Docker containers. For the root file system, we removed packages that are not required, like developer utils, compilers, some firmwares, like graphics, etc. We also replaced the core utils in the root file system with BusyBox apps. And we excluded unrelated platform directories and just retained uh, Vistron 3200K SKU related platform directories. For the kernel, we excluded desktop PC related modules and also removed unused drivers like ATM, Bluetooth, ISDN, etc. For the Docker containers, we did the following three optimizations. Uh, currently, Sonic uses the full base distribution image for the Docker containers. Instead of that, we use the slim distribution version of the Docker image. Slim version is roughly half the size of the full version. We also removed build-related packages from the Docker, like developer header files, man pages, compilers, editors, etc. And today, Sonic uses GZIP with the default compression levels for packing the Docker file system. We modified it to have better compression using BZIP2. Let us look at the results we achieved for, from the optimizations discussed so far. For the Sonic image size, we saw a roughly 20% decrease. Before, the image size was around 1 gigabytes, and now it reduced to 830 megabytes. We also saw a 5% reduction in the RAM usage. Before, it was 748 megabytes, and now it reduced to 709 megabytes. And all this we could achieve in just two days of effort. In just a short period of time, we achieved roughly 20% improvement, the two without disabling any features. We believe a lot more improvement is still possible. In fact, we'll list a few possible ideas later. So this is a promising area for the community to look at for Sony contributions, and this can make Sony suitable for other deployments like edge markets. Future work. First, we plan to run the Sonic management test suite to confirm that no feature was impacted by our optimizations, and then see how to generalize these changes and upstream them. Next, there is a lot of scope to further optimize the image size and main memory usage. For example, we can customize the kernel specific to the platform. This will reduce the kernel size and boot time. Also, the kernel loads the complete root file system today. The root file system of Debian is around 500 MB. We should replace it with a minimal RAM disk image for the kernel root file system and have the Debian root file system mounted on the flash. Sony commands and utilities are part of the root file system. Instead, we can place these commands and utilities in a separate container to reduce the dependency with root file system. We should also move out Sony configuration files and template files out of the root file system so that the root file system does not contain user editable files. Last but not the least, we should also look at optimizing other aspects related to the CPU so that we can enable Sonic to run on lower end CPUs.
Thank you for listening to us. And now we are open for questions. Any questions? At most one. Thank you for the team. Yeah. Thank you. Can you did you hear the question? When was the yeah? Dave has a question. Great improvement of 20%. What area would you target next? Uh is the team online? The question is what's your next target? to be online, yeah. Yeah, so there can be more improvements done inside the Docker itself, uh, which we did not get chance to explore much because we, we did this all in just two days. So even in the root file system, wherever uh, there were many the libraries in the packages which are taking more space or more memory, we focused only on that uh, packaging. So it's, it still can be improved in Docker's and the root file system as well. Okay, thank you. Yeah, please.